My father worked for many years as a school inspector for the London Borough of Islington, and he was determined to make poetry accessible to every child from any background. And I think in his poem, Apples and Pears, it's a poignant reminder of those people who are living cooped up in the city without any access to nature and the outside world. And this is particularly meaningful at the moment in terms of how some people are having to get through the COVID-19 crisis, living without a garden, without even a balcony. So I thought this was a good poem to choose. Apples and Pears by Leonard Clark. In grandfather's orchard, that long sunny day, I smelt apples and pears clustered in dark loaded trees or picked already at first light, lying warm and comfortable in huge baskets, the old milking shed drenched with their sweetness. And from time to time, struck out at wasps moving in their black and yellow squadrons from the thick blackberry hedges to dive greedily into the scattered heaps of gashed fruit towered here and there upon the grass for the pig's delight. It was a day of ripeness and plundering. And now, the mists rising, lights on at tea time, the fierce raiders dead in their legions, chilled by the breath of first frosts. I can still smell grandfather's orchard, the dense perfume of August's ripeness, as I look at apples and pears from other places, piled high in mother's best fruit dish, here, now, on the seventh floor of our city flat, and not a single tree flowering and fruiting below.